Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. What a day. I tell you, boss, one minute the sun's out, the next minute there's a cloudburst. Yeah. It looked at noontime like we'd be doing marvelous business at the matinee. Yeah. And now look. Oh, it breaks my heart to see the midway deserted like this. Yeah, the weatherman couldn't have picked a worse time for us. Well, that's the breaks. Hey, wonder where Jerry is. He ought to be here by now. Oh, he'll be long soon. I sent for him and... With his curiosity, he won't be able to wait. <laughs> I sure hope this shower lets up before the night show. Yeah. Wow, that sounded pretty close. Uh, too close to suit me. Hey, did you see that lightning? Yeah. Wow. Oh, hey. Listen to that thunder. Hey, I don't blame my old Uncle Alfie for always crawling under the bed. <laughs> yeah. As I've, I've heard that some people hide their heads during these storms. Personally, I wouldn't miss them for anything. Yeah, well, that's one thing I just as soon do without. Yeah. Say, boss. Yeah? I think we'll have to put out a runway for the night show. Well, let's wait an hour and see if it clears up. Well, at least we're getting one break out of this thing. It's sandy ground. The water pretty much runs off. Yeah, if it weren't for that bank note coming up, I wouldn't begrudge this storm at all. We've had pretty good luck this season. Except for little things like a cyclone, a fire, and a runaway train, a few things <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I was only thinking about the rain. And yeah, we've had pretty clear weather most of the time. Yeah, but this shower sure hits us bad when you consider the cash we've got to have in a day or two. Uh, well, maybe we'll make it up for it tonight. Uh, sounds like it's letting up a little bit now. That must be Jerry. Uh, come on in. The door's unlocked. Hello. Oh, Jerry. I said you got something important for me, Mr. Randall. And you got wet, Jerry? No, I ran between the drops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what did you want, Mr. Randall? Well, I don't know how important it is, but it uh, has all the earmarks of big business. Gee, that sounds exciting. What is it? A letter from the M.O. Railroad. M.O. Railroad? Montana Overland Railroad Company. For me? Mm, well, indirectly. It's addressed to your father, Timothy Dugan. Oh. Uh, I took the liberty of opening it, Jerry. Sure, that's okay. I thought it might be an advertisement or something, but it's a personal business letter. Yeah? Well, that's funny. As far as I know, Dad didn't have anything to do with railroads except to write on them. Well, here you are, Jerry. You read it. Hmm. Sure looks important on the stationery. Hey, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, what's funny? How'd they find out Dad owned that property up there in Montana? Oh, it's easy enough to check on those things, Jerry. Most deeds to property are recorded. You just have to go to the county registrar's office and check the records. Oh. But look, Mr. Randall, why would a railroad be interested in what was going to be a dude ranch? Well, your guess is as good as mine, Jerry. Well, it's got me. All they seem to want to know is if Dad still owns that property. Must be important or they wouldn't tell him to wire collect. Yeah. Someplace it says, uh, here it is, uh, please notify us immediately by wire collect, as time is an important factor in this deal. Deal? Oh, it does sound like business, all right. Sure does. All they really want to know is the address of the property owner. Look, the sun's coming out. Oh, say, you're right, Jim. I didn't notice it to stop raining. 
Oh, that's fine. Now, if it'll only hold off until after the show tonight. Oh, I like the rain. Well, so do I, but not when it hurts business. Hey, maybe we'll make this payment yet, boss. I hope so. But what with the strike and all the unexpected setbacks we've had, it doesn't look too good. Gosh, I'd sure hate for you to have to borrow again. The interest is fierce on a loan like that. Yeah, I sure wish there was something I could do. Oh, here, here, Jim. We shouldn't talk like this in front of Jerry. Oh, yeah. Well, don't you worry, Jerry. I've been in worse spots than this. Yeah, and come out alive, too. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Well, I, I hate to bother you about this, but... Well, what do you think I'd better do about this letter, Mr. Randall? Well, I'll tell you what, Jerry. I'll wire them that you're Timothy Dugan's heir and own the property and are with the circus. And they can get in touch with you here if they want to. Oh, say, thanks, Mr. Randall. I, I sure appreciate it. <laughs> Well, what's going on? Sounds like rags and, and a cab. By golly, it is rags. Hey, rags, rags. Yeah, where is he, Jerry? Rags. Hey, rags, come here. Yeah, I don't know. That's funny. Sounded like it was right out here. Oh, hello there, Speed. Hey, have you seen rags? No, I ain't, Jerry, though I reckon I heard him a spell back. Well, I'd have sworn I heard him out here. And a cab, too. Oh, there you are, rags. Hey, where have you been, huh? I thought I heard a cat, too. So you've been fighting, huh? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> look at him wag his tail. He, uh, he doesn't look like a guilty dog to me. He's all out of breath. <laughs> hey, where have you been, Rags, huh? Well, maybe he just came running around when he heard you call him. Hey, there is a cat around here. Uh, sounds like it came from that tree over there. Well, there goes Rags. Rags, <laughs> hey, did you chase a cat up that tree? That's funny. I, I can't see a cat up there. I can't either. Hey, hey there, I think there's another cat. Yeah, sounds like it uh, came from the top of the wagon. Yeah. Maybe there's two cats. Reckon you must have heard a cat fight. Oh, oh, now I see the light. Huh? Well... You ought to know, Speed. Oh, why would Speed know? <laughs> uh, Mr. Randall out is how I was out here, and the rest of you was inside the office wagon. Yeah. yeah. Did you see a fight, Speed? No, I was just walking along kind of slow when I come. <laughs> it sure is funny we can't see a cat if there's one up on that tent. Uh, it certainly seemed to come from there. Yeah, but no, no, it's come from that tree again. <laughs> hey, look at poor Rags. He doesn't know where to go. Ah, poor little fellow. <laughs> He's frantic. Hey, careful, Speed. Uh, we don't want to get Rags too excited. Uh, what gets me is I can't find either of these cats. Neither can I. If you ask me, there's something fishy about all this. Here, Rags. Now, quiet. Come here. Rags, here, old boy. Oh, there's something going on around here, and I can't quite figure it all out. <laughs> okay, Speed. Shall we, shall we call it a day? I reckon so, Mr. Randall, sir, if you think that's enough. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Jerry, it's Speed's stunt. You better let him tell you about it. Stunt? You mean to say... Say, just what is all this? Uh, maybe we're nuts, Jerry. First is a cat and a dog fight, and we tear out of here, and no cat or dog. Then you call, and along comes rags. And we hear cats up in the tree and on top of the tent. But no cats. Well, I guess I'd better get out of this business before it's too late. I'm slipping. <laughs> yeah, come on, Speed. You'd better break down. <laughs> well, all right, sir. You see, Jerry, I was brought up on a farm. And, well, I guess I just took natural like the animals. Anyhow, I got to imitate them. You mean to them say that the... you've been making that meowing? Well, sure, that's it. Now, listen. I heard that meowing come from that tree. No one can fool me about that. So did I. And from the tent top, too. You couldn't have done it, Speed. Well, then... Supposing you tell me where you'd like to hear it come from now, Jerry. Oh, uh, back of Mr. Randall. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what in the dickens are these animals doing around here? <laughs> Does that satisfy you, Jerry? They, they came from in back of me, all right. Even made me jump. <laughs> but, well, how can you do it? Uh, send your voice around like that. A ventriloquist. Well, of all things, and here I thought I was going batty for a few minutes. Gee, you sure make a swell chicken. He's good, isn't he, Mr. You're Randall? You're good enough to fool me the other day. <laughs> then you knew about it all the time? Sure. And I promised to keep it a secret so he could have some fun with you folks. <laughs> well, it sure is a wonderful trick, isn't it, Rand? <laughs> we almost had you going in circles, huh, Pop? <laughs> I'll say this is great. He, uh, does anybody else know about his speed? Nope. Looks as how you all are my first subject. Oh, say, I'd sure like to pull a trick on someone and be in on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not just like a boy. You no sooner fall for a joke than you want to go out and try it on someone else. <laughs> well, you got a kick out of watching Jim and me and Rag. Yeah, I certainly did. 
Well, Jim, I'm afraid we've got work to do. Shall we let these pranksters cook up their next deviltry alone? Uh, it's okay with me, boss. Uh, there's not a cloud in the sky. Ha, maybe we'll clean up tonight. Oh, oh, uh, and Jerry, I'll uh, I'll get that wire off right away to the AMO Railroad. Oh, thanks, Mr. Randall. Uh, and I'll leave you in Jerry's hand speed, but I I'm warning you, tricks are all right, providing you don't do anything that'll hurt anyone or interfere with the show. Uh, don't you worry, Mr. Randall. We'll be careful. Uh, I'm beginning to think that with all the talent I've got around here, I ought to open a vaudeville house in the winter and keep all you folks busy. Oh, say, that'd be keen. <laughs> Hey, would you really do that, Mr. Randall? Oh, I'm afraid not, Jerry. It's just an idea. Well, gee, it's a swell one. No, no. If, I, if I'm going to run a circus, Jerry, it's an all-year-round job. I can't divide my interest. Well, so long. Bye, sir. And thanks, Mr. Randall, for not letting the folks in on the joke. Oh, yeah. Uh, be sure and check with me in the morning, Jerry. I, I should get a return wire by then, I'm sure. You bet. I'll be around. So long. So long. Come on, Rags, old boy. We won't hold a little joke in it, will you? <laughs> <laughs> of course he won't. You had as much fun out of it as we did, didn't you, Rags? <laughs> now, listen, Speed, we got to think of a humdinger this time. What can we do? Oh, I don't know. Appears like you'd be a pretty good one to figure that one out, huh? Well, we might do something when all the folks are together. Mm, or... Can't do anything during the show, you know. Oh, we might do something during supper. Then everyone's around. Reckon I might be able to make a noise like a couple of mice on the table. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, say that, sure get the women. But, well, most of the men wouldn't mind much. The main trouble is that it's so noisy in there, it'd be hard to be heard above the clatter of dishes and voices. Hey, I've got it. What? The Major. The Major? Well, who's he? Oh, Jiminy Willikers. Haven't you met him yet? Can't say as how I have, Jerry. Well, he's about the most important person in the show, if you count it according to the square inch. He's a midget. Major might swell when you get to know him. But he gets so excited about things that, well, he'd be a natural to play a trick on. He ain't uh, superstitious, is he? Oh, I'll see. He goes to Rosa Roxy all the time when things go wrong. Who's this here, Rosa Roxy? Roxy? Uh -huh. Oh, she's a fortune teller. Right, she's good, too. I'm beginning to get the glimmer of an idea, Jerry. If you think this here midget's a good enough sport to stand it. Oh, sure. He'll blow off an awful lot of steam, but how he swell when he wants to get sore things. You think he might fall for a ghost? You mean a sheet and everything? Uh -uh, a jest of voice that comes from the ceiling of his own room? I get you. Oh, say, that'd be a whale of an idea. You reckon he'd fall for it? Well, like a ton of brick. I only knew something about him. You know, about some of his ancestors. Appears to me like you're smart enough to get that information. You bet I am. Oh, gee, Speed, let's do it. You willing? Sure. Swell. But right now, Rags and me, we've got a job to do. If you don't mind, I think we'll go visit the Major. Then we'll get together at dinner. Okay, Speed? Sure thing. Be seeing you, Jerry. Slong, Rags. <laughs> 